Good day everybody. This is video number 193 and it's the 29th of uh, April 2020. And yeah, we're still in lockdown. COVID-19 is still um, ruling us. COVID-19 is still here. And uh, it looks like it's going to be here for a while. It's going to be here to stay. And uh, we need to live with it. I think that's the right term to use. Let's live with it. Um, let's be careful. Let's do the best that we can to um, stay out of it, not to get it and not to spread it. Let's stay sanitized and let's stay wise. Um, and listen to um, the rulings and the governings and the parties and the politicals and the doctors and everybody telling us what to do. In this time, we have got a lot of time because there's a lot of us that is not allowed to work. There's a lot of us that's not allowed to make money the normal way we used to do it. There's a lot of us that's um, actually sitting at home. This morning at um, quarter past one, my wife looked at me and she said, you know what, you're becoming a houseman now. You are not sleeping at 10 and 11 anymore. Um, the problem is, what do you do? I mean, I've got a job which I can't do. And sure, there's a lot of you guys and girls out there that's got a job that you can't do. But, you know, this, this has also made us come to a stop. And we, we spoke about the compulsory pit stop the other day, that suggestion of life hell in those. And, and, and we spoke about um, taking a longer pit stop, sitting down and, and thinking of your life, changing a lot of stuff. You can change the tires, you can change the fuel, you can change the, the gear ratio, you can change your um, everything on this because absolutely everything now doesn't have to be that high performance and high performance costs money they always say in racing every second well a couple of years ago to go a second faster in a racing car would cost like 10,000 rand which I believe now would be 15 or more um, I don't care to go as fast I normally drive the slower cars but Driving even slower, you can make a lot of changes. And and there's a lot of stuff in life that a couple of years ago, I did not believe in. Or there's a lot of stuff in life a couple of years ago, I really believed in. There's a lot of stuff I used to do and really do. And there's a lot of stuff I don't do anymore and really don't do it anymore. Now, people would ask you, why? How did you make a change like this? How did you um, stop eating meat, for instance? I mean, me and the wife has decided on the 10th of August, um, and it's nearly August again, that we're not going to do meat. We're not going to do chicken. We're not going to do um, lamb. We're not going to do steak. We're not going to do fish. We're not going to do any, mm. any meat. As the people say, we're now eating... Um, the, the cows and the pigs were eating their food because we're now vegetarians. But yesterday when I prepared a meal, I realized that we can do it without meat. We've, we've been doing so good and I don't feel any worse. In actual fact, if I feel something, I feel better. But that's not the topic of the story. I don't want to talk about that. There's a lot of changes you can make as long as you understand it. And, and one of them that I've been working on for a, for a while and it's actually you're going to say to me you can't work on it I think you can I think you can work on anything there was a there was an American salesman which was also an author and which also um, which also uh, did quite good in motivational speaking his name was Hillary um, Hinton it's not Hillary Clinton it's Hillary Hinton it's a man Ziegler Ziegler was his surname and his nickname was Zig. So they called him Zig Ziegler. Now Zig Ziegler, um, being an author um, and a motivational speaker, he had a few um, slogans and sayings. And, and one of them is around integrity and something that's very, very close to my heart. And I'm trying to work on that because we all make mistakes and we all made mistakes and we're all going to still make a lot of mistakes no matter the age and the era you live in. But... The one that I'm working on very, very hardly is integrity. And Zig Ziglar, this American author, salesman, motivational speaker said, with integrity, you have nothing to fear. 
Listen to this. With integrity, you have nothing to fear. Since you have nothing to hide. So you have nothing to fear because you have nothing to hide. With integrity, you will do the right thing. So you will have no guilt. Right. Now, that is the important part. And that's the part I'm working on. Because listen, guys and girls, for those of you who don't really know me, I've made a heck of a lot of mistakes in my life. I've... I've done wrong things, which I'm not very proud of, but we all, I'm sure, have something in the closet, if we're not in the closet ourselves. We need to get out of the closet, whether it's, um, whether it's gender, whether it's race, whether it's business, whether it's family-related, whether it's your relationship. Get out of the closet and start being who you are. Start being who you project to be. Start being who the people or the, the public see. Be that person at home, be that person at school, be that person at play. That's a nice saying which I've um, picked up. Uh, be the same person at home, school and play. So with integrity, you have no fear since you have nothing to hide. With integrity, you will do the right thing so you will have no guilt. So if you always Go around being the same person, having the same attitude, having the same aura, having the same, being the same you. You will never have to think about what you said, about what you've done, whether it's right or whether it's not right. It will be right if you live it according to your everyday life. Hey, that <laughs> sounds a bit deep to me even. But you know what? We need to sit down. We need to think. We need to pull up the handbrake. And we need to take books, we need to think where are we in life and what are we going to do from here. This is going to end. We just don't know when. So in this time, sit down, take your books, do the sum and see if it evens out. Is the income and the expenditure more or less the same when you're on the bread line like me? If the income is more than the expenditure, you're great, then you can start saving. If the Income is less than the expenditure, you've got a problem, also like me. So we need to sit down, take books. We've got time for it. There's a lot of stuff we can cut out, and there's a lot of stuff we can do. Guys and girls, have a great day. Remember to smile, say thank you and please, and make a difference in someone's life, please.